Hello, my planner family, and welcome back to another plan with me. This week is Easter theme. Yay! I'm kind of bummed out because there's this prettiness just at the left hand corner of your screen right now, but it's blocked by my flowers. Anyways, this week theme, I'm going to use my country spring spread. Because this week theme is Easter, this originally was my Easter spread, but then I just changed it into country spring as a kit. So originally it's the Easter spread as you can see on the right hand side with the Easter eggs and on the top it says Happy Easter but now my original kit it says life is beautiful and you have the country flowers on the side as decorative stickers. This week I'm going to do a no white space theme and also going to use my ombre heart check boxes. This was last week spread and if you missed the video the link is down below in the description box if not I'll just place it on top of the right hand corner so this week I'll be planning March 21st to March 27th let's get started so this week I'm gonna try something different instead of doing my today's first I'm gonna do my bottom washies because I want to try putting well, starting from the bottom and up because I hear that it's easier to lay down your full boxes or ombre boxes and then your headers so I'm gonna try that so I'm gonna work from the bottom of my page and up so that's why I'm laying down my washies first Once my washies down I'm gonna do the sidebar just work at it just so it's out of the way I'm pretty excited to use my daily spending tracker because honestly I'm really bad with money and you know if I like something I'll just buy it but with this I think it will give me the awareness of how much I'm spending a day or even a week so this will definitely help me out and I'm really loving my scallop side check boxes because it just add a little bit more definition into the sidebar instead of it's just blocks and blocks building up onto your sidebar so I think I'm gonna just include that in all my kit and just knock out the checkbox box. What do you guys think? I don't know, let me know. But I'm really loving the scallop feel about it. Anyway, so I'm just gonna put a reminder because I am on a no spending budget. That's why there's no happy mail coming for me. Oh, so sad. And I just added a daily tracker for my medication on the side. Now to the ombre heart check boxes because it's a no white space. That's why I'm using it. And I must say, with having the washi down first, it is easier for me to line it up and not to mention to do the headers too. So I really, really like this way and it makes the header look straight. Okay, next is my midsection where I usually put my decorative full boxes. We know Sunday is Easter, so I'm just going to put uh, the Happy Easter on that box. That's a no-brainer there. And the rest, I'm just going to spread it out as a pattern. I try to put the ones that I like down first and spread it out, and then the second ones that I like or that it's pattern and spread them both out and just finish it with something else. <laughs> That's what I usually do. That's how I usually think in my head. But at the end, it works, right? <laughs> Now I'm going to add my header washi. The reason that it's called a header washi, it's because it's the size of a header. That's all it is. You could use it at the top section or even in the mid section or even at the bottom section. Or you could divide it up. But it's just the size of the header and I just call it the header washi. That's all. It doesn't mean that it has to be on the top part, but I just like putting it up there. That's all. So once that's done, as you can see, the weekend evening green headers are a sore eye. So I'm just going to cover that with one of my blank headers that comes in the kit. And do you guys know what time is it? It's washi time! 
So as always, I pick out a bunch of washies because I don't know how the spread will look like and I just eliminate it. I know some planners out there um, plan with their washi or based on their washi, but for me, I, I can't do that. I have to do my planning and then go select my washies and bring it over to my spread and just eliminate it to see what works. So I think these four will really work and I am super in love with this, especially the one with the heart, hearts. The one with the wood panels and the flower decor, like oh my god, that's so precious. The two in the middle, like right there, they are one set. I think it's a recollection set washi and then the rest, the other two, is from separate collection, also from recollection too. But I bought them at Michael's because Canada, that's the only craft store we have and we're so limited. We don't have a Target, we don't have Hobby Lobby, so I'm pretty super jealous of you guys in the states that have all these selections and it's hard for us Canadians to get them and not to mention oh my god the prices up here I don't know how much you guys pay down there for for washi but here they're charging $8.99 Canadian $9.99 that's before tax <laughs> Whenever the 50% coupon's up or any kind of coupon or sale, I am at Michael's in a heartbeat. Okay, I think we're getting a bit carried away. Anyway, so I'm just laying down my washi. This will be layered with a white and gold foil with arrows washi on top. But I think, I, well not I think, but I know it's going to be too thick for it. So I'm just going to cut it down with my paper cutter. Just making sure that it's all evened out. And I'm going to lay it in the middle. And here I wasn't sure if I wanted it in the middle or on the top, so I just did one of each to compare to see which one I like. And at the end, I like it in the middle of the other washi. And for the big one that I really, really love, I think I want it down at the bottom washi, but because it's big, I'm going to wait because I want to fill in everything before I could put the washi on top of it. Now it's time to work on my todays on top. So. I'm just going to put my meal plan sticker down throughout the whole week because that's where I usually place it at the bottom of the todays because it's easy for my eyes to go to and when it's in a whole row like that so I'm just going to lay that down. When editing this I just realized you guys are kind of, well I am not you guys sorry, I am kind of out of the frame so I must apologize <laughs> that I thought I was in frame but I guess I'm partially out of the frame so right now Mondays, we're doing Mondays, there we go, we'll push it back up, yes. So Mondays, uh, my daughter has school, preschool, so I'm going to pick out a little girl that matches this red. I only did certain amount of colors, green, red, orange, blue, and purple, and I think the purple will work better than a pink, so that's why I'm just picking it out and I'm going to place it there. Next thing that's going on Monday is payday from Etsy, so I'm just going to put a washi and a flag and another one of my box flag on top to indicate that it's payday for me from Etsy. And thank you again for all those who have ordered over the weekend when I had the sale going on. I truly appreciate your support and your order. So thank you so much. And Monday is grocery day. So I'm just going to indicate that with another flag and a teardrop, but I got to figure out what to do with my white space. I think I put a washi in there just to cover it a bit. And I apologize if my hands are in the way of the stickers that you can't see me putting them down. Tuesday is pretty much an Etsy day for me just to pack and create new kits. Nothing really much is happening on Tuesday so I'm just going to fill the white space with some washi. Hey, Wednesday my daughter has school. one of my dogs getting his teeth clean because we found that he's losing teeth so I think it's time for him to get his teeth clean my husband has hockey and plus he's doing a day trip to Boston that day too my husband do travel a lot for his business so I just made these little circle stickers of plane departing and arriving just so I have in hand in different colors that I could just pull out and use in my spread when I need to So Thursday, my daughter has a play date, and it's also going to be my creative day. 
And Fridays, I usually do the plan with me or film my plan with me's. And Penny has another play date on Friday. And now for the weekend, I've decided not to use my washi, but use this floral washi as the background against my weekend banner. Because I'm just so in love with this washi. And as you can see, I was just literally debating if I should put it on top of that or put it on the numbers because now once I placed it down onto the washi, the floral washi, everything became too busy and the weekend banner didn't stand out. So I finally decided to just place it on top with the numbers. And I think this looks a bit better because if it was on the washi, it was just too much detail going on and it did not stand out. And I think this way was a lot better. It looks a lot better. We are having our Easter dinner over at my sister-in-law. So I'm just putting some check boxes in there just to make a list of what I need to pack for the kids and on our trip up to her house for dinner. Now there's this huge gap where the floral washi is right underneath the banner. I decided to use my tassel planting banners which is also in the country spring theme. So I'm just gonna add that there just to make, you know, cover up that space and it looks great. Once I'm done the weekend bottom section, I do want to use that big washi tape just to tie in the washi from the top to balance out the spread so I just cut a little flag out style and just place it there and I didn't want to place another one on the other side because I feel that having one there is already pretty much balanced for the whole layout. Okay once my spread's done I just add in my little YouTube icon stickers when I should edit, when I should upload. And usually before I do my decorative sticker, I go through my function icon sticker, literally sticker by sticker to see if anything of those items will be happening that week. I just remember I had a girls night out on Tuesday, so I had to make room and add another quarter box there to indicate girls night out. See my functional doo-doo list icon sticker also works as a checklist that if you go through all of it and then you see something like, oh yeah, there's... There's an event that's going on I forgot about. So with this spread, I had no idea what color pens to use. So as you can see, I just brought a whole bunch. I'm just testing it out. And I think I'm gonna do either purple or mint green with this. I'm just gonna alternate the colors between purple and mint green throughout the spread. I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to watch all this. To the decorative part, I've already started putting some Easter eggs on the top and my sticker on the sidebar as you can see. So the original kit do come with flowers and florals whereas the one that I'm using right now is just changed because it's an Easter weekend and I just took out all the flowers and just replaced it with the Easter eggs. So if you do order Country Spring, you will get the one with the flowers and not the eggs. I found some more Easter sticker which I'm just going to place around. I got that Hello Kitty Easter pack from the dollar store. And you know me, I always have to have some kind of a quote sticker on my sidebar even though I have a Live Well sticker that I made up there. There's still an empty space so I'm just going to fill it up with one of the Mambi's quote sticker or um, my Kiki K quote sticker book. And here we go, all done. Now it's time to put back into my Mambi planner book. Oops, upside down. So thank you guys for planning this week with me. I know last week's video, I said I'll be uploading a giveaway video. I am actually still waiting on the items to come in, but once it do come in, I'll be filming it and uploading it right away so you guys 
will have a chance to start entering the giveaway. Also, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Or if you do did subscribe, turn on your notifications so that YouTube will notify you when the giveaway video is up. Also, if you have Instagram, also I always say a lot of also, don't I? If you do have Instagram, you can also follow me at the Pink Room Co. Anyways, thank you again for watching and happy planning. Bye.